let's start. So, I just want to introduce you to my main mansion. Well, this is my concept of the main mansion. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, here it is. It's like, uh, you know, if we had like a desert realm, this would, I would imagine it to be looking like this. I don't know, but I could be wrong. But we don't, I don't think we, we're going to get one, but. Let's see. Let's go to my other island here. Um, ah. So how is everyone's weekend? Um, I will show you right here. Okay, this is the one I did last night, so. It's a bit, you know. I don't. I thought it would got it got recorded, but no, it didn't. So for those of you who are um like, like uh, confused about the floating glitch, uh, I will just do like a visual example so that way you can um you can easily uh process, it, I guess. And we'll interact at the very end of this um, demonstration. And, but if you have any questions, just uh, comment or something. And uh, maybe on the next live, official live, and I will answer those questions. Okay, so sinking glitch. Um, just think of you have like a reference area which is this and if you want to sink it obviously it's on the ground right so it's this is your real ground and then this is this boulder here just make something up uh, this boulder uh, represents the fake ground basically so if this is equal to the ground level so i made sure that there's another there's a house here and a tree a house and a tree okay so for example let's try okay let's try a uh, helical tower so if you want the helical tower to just show one one level so you would you would put this on a different floating boulder right here so if you want the helical tower to appear like this right like that on the ground for example if you don't like to see this part here then that means you're sinking that part and just leaving this these two um, platforms on okay so that's your goal so basically um, this is your ground level like your reference ground level so now you have the boulder which goes down below the ground this is your reference and now the last thing you need is um, this is called an anchor or a holder so this will be the one you use to drag your set because we're gonna make making a custom set here so since uh, you already know the height of that right you can do this again you can measure it again uh, as soon as you're done the, um, the custom set but for now you can just uh, Push it to the very uh, bottom of the, like to the ground. Uh, make sure the height is, you know, depending on the boulder, but that's the height should be like touching the ground. And now, uh, next step, create set. So one, one, two, so just these two, okay? Just the two boulders. Confirm. So now you use this same boulder uh, reference boulder to make the set go up in there so just think of the circle as like a really large glass table so you just kind of put it on something uh, like a shelf or something like that so that's why it pops up over there so confirm and then click this one and then go drag it to you know your reference for example okay i want to sync it so basically now this is your new uh, fake ground level right so he's just syncing it and also uh, another tip is to turn this off because what happens is that when you kind of 
like go down as you go down it will click start clicking like that and if you don't like that to happen just turn this off so it's you can smoothly slide it down so if you want to just re uh, remove the this part here and maybe that's like that okay so that's your new height or that's that's how low you sunk it right and that's pretty much for um, comparing the heights and everything so just confirm okay now you edit set that way you move both again and then you place it bottom right here so what i did there is that um see how it looked compared to this it's like mostly similar because but this one i think they're the same height because the only difference is that this one has no grass uh, this platform here and the other one has uh, tall blades of grass so that's why but otherwise they would look the same right so that's the concept of syncing so basically you're just readjusting the height of the set of one of them that way when it gets to the um, to the actual ground it will appear like that what? <laughs> okay. And next example. Mm. If you want to sync this one and just use the like what I did here, uh, you just use the top part of this boulder, right? Uh, it's the same thing, but the this one is the more challenging one because it's a huge um, boulder. So you can still use the small floating rock, but just readjust your height, I mean your camera angle, and just kind of until it goes on top of it, right? And you zoom in again, like that. So now, your new reference. So it would appear like this, so it, it will appear like it's buried, right? Like that. So what you'll do is readjust your reference boulder. So you can just click this um, and readjust it. Uh, like just, yeah, this is how it would appear or uh, it would appear in the ground. So maybe like that, but there's grass. So uh, you could also take that into account that you should just bury this a little bit more because that way you don't see the grass part. Okay. So maybe that one would work. Okay. And confirm. But now you need to sync it in actual syncing using the custom set, right? So just move this away for a bit, uh, temporarily, yeah. And then choose the other anchor, another anchor, right? We have an we have an anchor here, but this is for the helical tower. So don't remove anything yet until you're very sure that, you know, that's the final position of your set uh, or your item. Okay. So again, create set. This is part two, and then. Click this one. You can just zoom in and then confirm, edit, and then drag it again. Same thing, right? Confirm. Click this one. You adjust the height like that. Okay. So now compare this one to the one on the ground and see how it appear. So it should appear, this should appear like this in the same way, right? Look. Okay. There. But obviously this one is covered, but you can always adjust it by picking it up again. And then putting it on. Because this is another boulder, so it will automatically get bumped up. But if you don't like that to happen, you can always do this again. And then just readjust the height and then and do it like that as well. And then place it on. But sometimes if it's just a boulder, it will automatically bump up. That's why. But if it's not a boulder, then that's what you would do. So you just readjust the height here. And just pick it up. That's why you keep this uh, custom set intact until the very end.
put this back down because uh, I know that it's gonna like get um, bumped up anyways. There we go. Okay. So now you're worried about load. Okay. So load values are, you know, I will just put that in the description. It's, it's like a website. But basically, for example, this is like, I'm just guessing, if this is like load 30 value. And then the next one here, or the next copy would be, there's a discount depending on which item it is. So for example, this is load 30, and the next one would be just three. So that's a really huge discount right there. But you could check the load value chart on the description that I, you know, one of my videos has it too. Uh, it's called like, yeah, like um, there's a video on my playlist that says uh, the things that uh, you should avoid um, because it can quickly increase, uh, it can quickly make your load um, go red or something. I think that was it. I can't remember. So yes, this is like basic loading. I mean, yeah, syncing actually, syncing. So now, next thing is floating, right? So if you're lost with that, um, you can use a snowman, right? Uh, the old times we just click the item and then just click underneath but that's like an easy uh, the hardest way to do especially for mobile players but there's an easier now uh, version uh, you can just place the snowman on a platform here let's see any any type of snowman torso basically and you save it and then you go to um, towards it hmm. and put the head on any just the head part and then now you can freely um, move this around So I'm moving this around because, you know, if you want your item to float, for example, you want to float this house, you can move the snowman like nearby it. Okay, there you go. And then first thing you do is click the, the, the item you want to float and then go, you adjust your camera, make sure the snowman is in front of the item that's highlighted. And you just click the head part. And you'll see that blinking, um, it would it should float like that that's the new new technique um this one the advantage the advantage of this using a snowman you can move it around anywhere you want while editing um the disadvantage is that the snowman costs load like i think 350 or something so i wouldn't use this at the very very end of your design so if it's your design is almost full then you won't be able to float items um, anymore because the snowman is taking up that load space. Okay, right. there's an alternative way to do it, for example. So now there is a load friendly way of doing this. So you use your Serenity Teapot gadget. I think you, if you've uh, seen it in one of my tutorials, so you will just summon your serenity pot right here. So make sure it's like elevated like at least uh, 15, 15 0 to 20 above ground. So this is the one you need, actual serenity pot gadget. Then don't do anything, just leave it there and go back to edit mode. Move this boulder away for a bit. Um, so it's the same uh, the same function as the snowman's head you can just click something so this is not floating right now right only the house is so you want to click the tree and then hover the serenity teapot in front of the highlighted item um, there's something to make note of here the trees if you click outside the, the outer box the inside of the outer box like here it won't work see you have to click the box the the one that's inside this um when uh, like the inner one okay like here 
like that. And that's how you know you can you finally float the item. Okay, the advantages, the advantage of this one, it doesn't cost uh it doesn't cause like load. And also, but the disadvantage though is that you have to move it, you have to save your work and then move it. You have to for example, if you want to move it somewhere else, if you, your the item you're trying to float is right here, then you have to replace, um, move the boulder with teleport here or something. That's the only, the only way that the only the con of this um, floating uh, um, tool. So you just resummon your teapot here. Yeah. Okay. I hope that helped. Um, and one more thing, this is the last thing I would do in this tutorial. So, um, this will uh, save a lot of your uh, load space and stuff. So remember these things that we sunk here, the things that are underneath here, the, the, the floating rock, this one would cost load, right? So if you don't want to, um, if you want to pick them them up, there's a this is a new way to do it. Um, so what you would do is, again, you can use the snowman or the serenity pot, right? So for this time, I just use the snowman. Okay, so you would click the big boulder, but don't drag it around. Just click it once, and then use the snowman's head and just zoom in again. It's like Loading it but underground. Okay, so just be careful not to make it pop out of the ground. Okay, just zoom in as much as you can to the snowman's head and then click it. That's the same way as floating it, but it's underground. And now you can click that set where whichever it's not that one, but the other one. This one. So normally, if this wasn't floated, this big uh, sand boulder, then it would get dragged along with this set right so now you can that's why I told you to not break the set because you'll need that and you can just pick this up now that way you save load okay so that's locking it in place in the underground so same thing goes with this one right so this one I use the bigger size boulder because that way it's easier for me to find it um, but since this is a part of the set, you could easily um, take it out using that method as well. But I'll show you if you don't have it in the set, for example. Okay, if you accidentally broke it away from the set, right? If you did this one. And then now there's no way to take it out, right? Without like, you know, going in, interfere with that. So I don't know. Because this is also interfering with your, um, let's see. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that because now you can't take it out. You can't select the the boulder that this was this thing was on. Okay. So now let's see. So for example, this wasn't there. See, you could see the boulder, right? This is the item. This is the boulder. Okay. So same thing. You just click the item, lock it in place, and remove the boulder. So the boulder has like three squares and it's um like layers and stuff so you just kind of like scan it maybe yeah you found it and you just say subspace boulder solitude and then just take it out and that saved a lot of load space and there's nothing underneath other than the items themselves right i took the this one out because i couldn't click it because this is a huge uh item that when you hover your mouse over, it will just select this instead. So just be careful of that too. All right. So it's, it works the same way as the Serenity Pot. You just click the Serenity Pot, but you have to like zoom it in completely, like in front of the camera, while this item was selected, and then just do this. Like that. You can even do it from that far away, but you have to. It's challenging like this because. If your serenity pot is like right here, like yeah, you could do this as well. Okay, just make sure that the teapot is larger, like you know, it's as large as the box in itself, like that perspective, like that. 
Because it's if it's if it's far away, it will just pop out. I think. Let me check. Because some items, if it's really far away, like like for example, okay, like that, and then it will just pop out, like that. So make sure you're just um, zooming it in till you could see it. There we go. Okay. Any other questions? If not, then I should probably go. And those are the commonly asked questions. I hope that was clear. And yeah, if there's any other things that you want to add to that, you just comment or, you know, leave comment on one of my videos. I get notified. So. Casey says, last night I went to dinner with my family to celebrate my grandparents' 61st wedding anniversary. Wow. Wow. Congrats to your grandparents. That's a really... That's What's that? Like, is that like platinum? <laughs> platinum. Uh, Yoshi, you went to bed already? Okay. Three accounts today for Genshin. <laughs> what? Do you have three accounts? I can barely like do one account. I can I can barely maintain this account. But yeah, that was that's cool. <laughs> okay, so this will end the live. Um I hope that you could see this replay because I don't know the last leap replay was like like I don't know what happened to it. But I did some tutorials there too, so yeah. Alrighty. Have a good night or day wherever you are. Uh I'll see ya.